Today we think about salvation. We are going to summarize, explore concept salvation through Old and New Testament, and then we have time to apply it to us. We can outline the concept of salvation as the act or state of deliverance from harm or peril. Whether that danger be physical or spiritual, temporal or eternal. In the Old Testament, the idea of material safety, deliverance from enemies and victory come to the fore. Although ideas such as salvation from the penalty of sin are not totally lacking. God saved Yasa, the Israelite, from various oppressions. Exodus 14.30 That day, the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. The nouns related to Hebrew Yasa have a wide range of meanings. Prosperity, safety, and the reversal of negative circumstances, Yeshua. 1 Samuel 2 1. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord, mine horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enraged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. Deliverance and Vindication Yeshua Job 13, 16 He also shall be my salvation, for a hypocrite shall not come before him. Military Victory Yesa Psalm 18, 2 The Lord is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. Salvation may also involve deliverance from danger in general. Yes, sir. Job 5, 4. His children are far from safety, and they are crushed in the gate, neither is there any to deliver them. Deliverance from exile, Teshua, Isaiah 45, 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded world without end. Deliverance from blood guilt, Teshua, Psalm 51, 14. Deliver me from blood guiltness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. In the New Testament, the concept of salvation often involves the forgiveness of sins and the deliverance from its power and penalty, especially in the letters. Luke 1.77 to give knowledge of salvation, Soterios, unto his people by the remission of their sins. Romans 1.16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation, Soterios, to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. References to read uh, Matthew 1.21, Acts 15.11, Romans 5.9, 1 Corinthians 15.2, Ephesians 2.8, 2, 2 Thessalonians 2.10, James 5.20, Jude 1.23. Particularly in the Synoptic Gospel, Salvation has to do with physical well-being and safety, and words for salvation are often used in Jesus' act of healing, verb, soldier, to save from death or harm. 
Matthew 9:22. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole, sozo. And the woman was made whole, sozo, from that hour. Luke 8, 36. They also which saw it told them by what means he that was possessed of the devils was healed, sozo. Other references are Matthew 8.25, Matthew 9.22, Luke 1.69, Act 49, Hebrew 11.7. In both Testament, then salvation deals with deliverance from danger and a restoration to holiness and prosperity. It involves victory from forces that threaten holiness and prosperity, such as enemies and sickness. The New Testament emphasizes the work of Jesus as the one who saves people from sin and death, but it is clear that salvation is holistic and involves the well-being of the whole person. Today, we need to think about salvation. Point to ponder. Salvation is the act of state of deliverance from harm or peril, whether that danger be physical or spiritual, temporal or eternal. First to remember, she will bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus, for he, is, he will save his people from their sins. Matthew 1.21 Questions to consider. What has God's salvation meant to you in your life? What was so amazing about what Christ did for you?